Welcome back to the channel, Jerex26 here. In this video, we're gonna get legendary. I'm gonna show you how to craft the World vs. World legendary armor set in Guild Wars 2. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Jerox, crafting legendary armor must be a impossible feat. Well, fear not, my friends, because this guide is clear, concise, and easy to follow so that you too can get your legendary armor. So mount up, and let's do this. Why craft legendary armor? So why should we care about crafting legendary armor? Legendary armor has some amazing quality of life features. You can equip it on every level 80 character on your account that can use that armor type. You can change around the stats whenever you want while you're out of combat, as well as swap around the runes. You can also transmog it for free. Lastly, crafting legendaries is the end game of Guild Wars 2, and it shows off your dedication and mastery of the game. What you need to get started. So let's talk quickly about some of the requirements you're gonna need before you begin. You're gonna need a bunch of World v. World Skirmish claim tickets, and the total amount depends somewhat on which armor piece you're gonna be crafting. You're gonna need 1,095 claim tickets for each piece in the crafting process, as well as 175 extra for the boots, gloves, helms, and shoulders, 260 for the legs, and 350 for the chest piece. In this guide, we're gonna be crafting the legendary chest piece, so we're gonna need in total 1,445 skirmish claim tickets. Next, you're gonna to complete the triumphant armor reward track at least once for the reward chest you're also going to need one gift of battle 15 mystic clovers and one level 500 crafting profession of any profession except for chef i just want to point out also that are actually two different variants of the worldly world legendary armor the triumphant's hero armor and the mistforge triumphant hero's armor the Mistforge variant is similar but has a cool glowing effect as well as an animation on the chest, but it is more expensive and has additional requirements. Stick around with me to then and I'll briefly go over the crafting of it as well as how to upgrade the base type to the Mistforge variant if that's something that you want to do down the road. Okay, let's get into the crafting. Each piece of the Worldly World Legendary Armor is crafted out of the four following primary components. The Ascended Armor Precursor, a Gift of War Prosperity, a Gift of War Prowess, and a gift of war dedication. Let's start with the Precursor Armor piece. To start, you will need to complete the Triumphant Armor Reward Track. As I mentioned earlier in this guide, we're gonna be making the Heavy Armor Chest Piece. So in the Reward Chest, we're gonna select the armor piece we need, which is the Exotic Heavy Chest Piece. This is going to unlock the Ascended Triumphant Heavy Chest Armor from the Skirmish Supervisor. You're then gonna to need to purchase that Ascended Piece, and it's gonna cost you three gold, 350 Worldly World Skirmish Claim Tickets, four Grand Master Marks, and 250 Medals of Battle. So let's break some of this down. The Worldly World Skirmish Claim Tickets, what are these and how do we attain them? The Skirmish Claim Tickets are the main bottleneck to get in Worldly World Legendary pieces. They're attained from the chest in the Skirmish Reward Track, which is the reward track right here. If you get all the chests in a week, you can get a total of 365 tickets. But ArenaNet just recently added some additional ways of earning Skirmish Claim Tickets. You can now also earn 45 Claim Tickets each week from completing the weekly World vs. World achievements. Additionally, you can earn them for capturing or defending a keep or stone mist castle. So what about these Grandmaster Marks? How do we get these? You can buy Grandmaster Marks from the Skirmish Supervisor for 10 Grandmaster Mark Shards each. The Shards are attained in Bronze, Silver, and Gold chests on the Skirmish Reward Track, as well as can be received from taking or defending a keep or stone mist castle. And lastly, what are these Memories of Battle? You get these from the Skirmish Reward Track chests, as well as Worldly World Reward Tracks. They can also be bought off the trading posts. So just use these currencies to buy the Ascended Triumphant RP from the vendor and your first primary component is done now into the gift of war prosperity the gift of war prosperity is probably the biggest of the primary components but do not fret as i'm going to break down each step for you the gift of war prosperity is made from combining the four following items in the mystic forge a gift of battle 15 mystic clovers a gift of condensed might and a gift of condensed magic the gift of battle is attained simply by completing the gift of battle reward track in world vs world next you need 15 mystic clovers so how do we acquire these the legendary chest of crafting materials from the 28 day login world will net you 7 mystic clovers. You can buy 2 mystic clovers a day from the fractal lobby, and you can earn them from several of the PvP and Worldly World reward tracks. Additionally, ArenaNet just added the ability to buy Mystic Clovers off the new Merchant Dugan in the Worldly World maps with Worldly World currency. You can also attempt to craft them in the Mystic Forge using these two recipes. Just throw the listed items in the forge and you'll have a 33% chance to yield Mystic Clovers. On to the Gift of Condensed Might and Gift of Condensed Magic. This is what the recipe for these two look like. No, 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 no. They're not as bad as they look. They're just really a bunch of tier 3 through tier 6 materials. These materials are then used to craft up an associated gift. For example, these T3 through tier 6 fangs are used to craft the Gift of Fangs. And the Gift of Condensed Might is made up of the associated Gift of Fangs, Scales, Claws, and Bones. You have to buy the recipe for each of these gifts from Miyani, the vendor standing next to the Mystic Forge, 
and each recipe is going to cost you 10 gold. The gift of condensed magic is similarly crafted from these recipes and materials. So how can you acquire all these materials? Check your material storage first. You probably already have some on you from just playing the game. You can also buy them off the trading post, but tier 6 materials in particular can be expensive. So here are the two methods that I like to use to acquire most of the tier 6 materials I need. First I use whatever laurels I have and buy heavy crafting bags off the laurel vendor. These give you three random tier 6 mats. Then I buy trophy shipments from the volatile magic vendors in the living world season 4 maps which give you a bunch of tier 5 and tier 6 materials. Any extra I need, I just farm more volatile magic and use that to buy more trophy shipments. Once you have all your materials, craft up each of the associated gifts and use them to craft your Gift of Condensed Might and Gift of Condensed Magic. Then place the Gift of Battle, 50 Mystic Clovers, the Gift of Condensed Might, and the Gift of Condensed Magic into the Mystic Forge and BOOM! The Gift of War Prosperity is done. Two primary components down. We are halfway there, guys. And the next two pieces are pretty quick. Next up, the Gift of War Prowess. Let's go finish this thing. The Gift of War Prowess is crafted by placing the four fallen components into the Mystic Forge. A Legendary War Insight, an Eldritch Scroll, 50 Obsidian Shards, and a Cube of Stabilized Dark Energy. The Legendary War Insight is purchased from Legendary Commander War Razor in the Worldly World maps for 1,095 Skirmish Claim Tickets. You're going to be seeing him a few more times. The Eldritch Scroll is purchased from Miyani for 50 Spirit Shards. Next up, the 50 Obsidian Shards. But where do you get these from? There are quite a few ways to earn Obsidian Shards. Some of these include earning them from rewards on certain Worldly World reward tracks. You can get some from the 28 Day Login Reward. Probably the easiest way is to buy them from Tactician Deathstrider, a karma merchant in the Straits of Devastation. The merchant will appear after completing the Temple of Balthazar meta event. You can buy stacks of 10 Obsidian Shards for 21,000 Karma. Then lastly, the Cuba Stabilized Dark Energy. You're going to need a level 500 crafting profession and craft this out of 1 Ball of Dark Energy and 75 Stabilized and Matrices. The Ball of Dark Energy is a crafting material used in other legendary crafts and is obtained from salvaging Ascendant items. You have a guaranteed chance of getting one when you salvage Ascended weapons or armor. The 75 Stabilized and Matrices these can be found in fractal chests or from salvaging ascended rings and trinkets. A good way of getting these is just to run your daily fractals and salvage any of the ascended rings you don't need. So now just pop these four items into the Mystic Forge, the Legendary War Insight, the Eldritch Scroll, 50 Obsidian Shards, and the Cube of Stabilized Dark Energy into the Mystic Forge, and you have your Gift of War Prowess. Three out of the four primary components are now done. The only thing left is the Gift of War Dedication. Let's go get that legendary armor. The Gift of War Dedication is made from placing the four fallen items into the Mystic Forge. A Certificate of Honor, a Glob of Condensed Spirit Energy, a Certificate of Heroics, and 250 Memories of Battle. Let's start with the Certificate of Honor. The Certificate of Honor is sold by the Legendary Commander, War Razor, for 500 Badges of Honor. You get Badges of Honor from various ways while participating in World vs. World, such as killing veteran supervisors at the research camps, from killing tower and keep lords, and from various chests and loot bags earned in World vs. World maps. And you probably have more than enough of these on you already. The Glob of Condensed Spirit Energy is purchased from Legendary Commander War Razor for 100 Spirit Shards. But what about these Spirit Shards? How do we attain these? They are a currency that's kept in your wallet and are acquired from various ways such as completing the daily quest achievement, leveling up after you are already level 80, and contained of a bunch of different types of loot boxes and bags such as these. The Certificate of Heroics is purchased from Yes, him, Legendary Commander, War okay. Razor for 250 Testament of Heroics. You get these from consuming the Testimony of Jade Heroics that are in the Skirmish Chests, then purchasing the Testimony of Heroics from a Heroics Notary in any of the Worldly World maps. Lastly, you just need 250 Memories of Battle, and we already know how to get these. So just pop these four items in the Mystic Forge, the Certificate of Honor, the Glob of Connect Spirit Energy, the Certificate of Heroics, and the 250 Memories of Battle, and BOOM! The Gift of War Dedication is done! All four primary components are now done. Let's go craft this armor. Now just place the four primary components into the Mystic Forge, the Ascended Triumphant Hero's Armor, the Gift of War Prosperity, the Gift of War Prowess, and the Gift of War Dedication. And OMG, congratulations, you now have your legendary armor piece. Okay guys, let's just quickly talk about the Mistforge variants. So to reiterate, you can craft an alternative World World armor set that has pretty much the same look that comes with a blue glow effect and the chess piece has a really cool animation. To do so, you have to purchase the Ascended Mistforge Triumphant Armor Precursor. These cost more Skirmish Claim Tickets and more Memories of Battle, and you have to be at least rank 500 in World vs. World. So probably gonna have to wait much longer to start crafting it. But does this mean I'd have to craft a whole nother Legendary Armor set if I want the cool looks of the Mistforge set later? I'm gonna clear this up for you. 
No, you wouldn't. If later you hit rank 500 in Rolos' World and you want to upgrade the look of your Legendary Armor set to look like the Mistforge set, all you have to do is purchase the Ascended Mistforge Precursor, then transmog your current armor to look like it. Because the Ascended Mistforge Precursor has the same exact look and animations as the Legendary Mistforge set. I hope this helps. Okay guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was any help to you, please do me a favor and leave a like below. And please don't forget to subscribe because I am now full-time content creator, so you're going to be seeing some more great videos coming your way. Also, stop by our Twitch channel and say hi to Divinity Eye. We're always happy to say hi and answer any questions that you may have. Also, if you haven't yet made the World vs. World exclusive Legendary Ring Conflux, I actually recommend making this first before your Legendary Armor set and have a fantastic guide on how to do so right here. Okay guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.